first week sales. Uh, it was 13k. It was like 13k. Ice Spice first week. Let me see. It was like 13 it was like 13k. Oh, apparently yeah, 14.5. You see it, you just passed the tweet. Yeah, no, no. These are for, for the Nikki song. I'm trying to think about. I'm, no, I'm no, sorry. You, you put, the one you posted for our album. You just post. You just you just uh, skipped it. It was fourteen point five k. Oh, I did. Just go, yeah, just right there. All right, there, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourteen four. Oh shit. Yeah, so that she she going up, bro. Damn. Damn. Then I see all the Nikki pages posting this, saying Princess Diana debuts number one on the sales chart. That's yeah, on the sales, the sales chart. chart. Yo, that's what Nikki fans do. If y'all know what Nikki fans do, there's always money involved, and somehow they get like five thousand dollars to 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 divide amongst like eight hundred stands, and they all buy the song. This is what like salute my boy Meezy. He just wasn't trying to call it out, call it out. Like you know, he talking about Nikki and them. Like this is like a Nikki tactic, or it's, it's a Nikki tactic, bro. Let's buy the song. If we could get it to number one. Even though it's gonna fall off the map in week two, we could say the industry's hating on us. It's like, bro, with all due respect, this is the barbs are really good at making moments, but they're not good at making shit stick. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, they could get any song to number one, but it won't be number one for more than a week. I think it debuted it um, at number four. Number four overall? That's good though. Yeah, that's good for sure. Let me see. It's not. It's not posted. It's just the chart. Um, what's it called? Predictions and shit. It's gonna be number three or number four. Morgan Waller just fucking the game up. Really? Of course. Apparently, they said SZA was in competition. And SZA started promoting her song. SZA, SZA says, number, I think SZA's number one this week. And then SZA, SZA says some two. spicy shit. SZA no, Instagram. She said, "Oh, she blocked me." Fuck you, SZA. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm tired of it. Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. No. I gotta go incognito mode to see if they fuck you, man. <laughs> man, fuck you. Fuck you in that. Fuck you in that botch BBL. I ain't got time for that shit. I, no. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this shit now, bro. I'm sick and tired of this shit, man. You know that goddamn BBL been botch. Stop, stop fucking playing. You got mad at me. You gotta get mad at your surgeon, man. Stop the fucking playing, man. Stop the fucking playing with me, man. Yo, keep my wife's name at your goddamn mouth. Stop playing. Man, what mad at me, man? You gotta be mad at your doctor, man. You getting your shit done in, a, in, in an apartment in the Bronx. That's why your shit came out looking botched the first time, gang. Don't be mad at me over that junk. Feel me? Holy. <laughs> like, sis is want to admit the real, man. You fat just like me, man. Like, you fat just like me. You just ain't want to admit it. You got They've been chopping your bitch up. They've been chopping your ass up like hibachi, man. Like, your shit is like in a hibachi kitchen. They chop your shit up every two weeks. Fuck going out of here, man. Done sparing you, man. Little botch BBL, she got mad at me talking about here's the updated pick. Yeah, shorty, after eight surgeries, they've been chopping your ass up like it's. They've been chopping your ass up like like you you literally at Benny Hanna's. Fuck is you talking about? No. Here's my no here's my new BBL. Post a real picture if you're gonna post it. Bitch. No, she said that. That's what she did. Remember remember that day we were like, I guess she somehow got oh, to my yeah. stream from Kai shit. Posting all these subliminals, man. You, you you know the ass turning green in two years. Stop playing, man. Stop playing with me, man. You know the ass turning green in two years. Man, you can fix that box, BBL. You can't fix your spirit, man. Your spirit is uncomfortable with you, man. You gotta you gotta love yourself. You're gonna be chasing a knife. You're gonna be under anesthesia your whole life, Shorty. Just cause a couple comments get you in your feelings. They say the same shit to me. They say worse. But I'm confident. I ain't gonna let a nigga. If I'm gonna ever do it, it's gonna be for me. I ain't gonna be running on a knife, getting chopped up and diced up and shit like that. You're about dice pineapples, the dice BBO. That's what she got going on right now. That's a fact. Sorry, scissor. I'm, I'm in the mood today. You had to catch it. You heard me? BBO was looking atrocious. Let me pull up the pick one more time. Scissor BBO. Hey, don't be mad at me. You know what you gotta be mad at? Go be mad at like the Google search. This is what the, the engine brought up. They broke the botched. I ain't my fault. This shit was botched right there. This shit was just botched. No. No way. You feel me? What's that shit they call uh, 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 when they trying to get your search terms right? When they trying to get your search terms right or whatever? 
You know, these companies be like, oh, yeah, we could make sure you're high ranked on Google and shit like that. Man, you got to get that done. No, nah, not the algorithm, bro. Nah, what's nah, that shit called? What's that shit called? Somebody about to say it right now. Somebody going to say, you got to, yeah. I think it's an SEO. You got to get your SEO right, shorty. <laughs> when I Googled your BBL, the good pics ain't show up. It showed the 15th botch version. You hear me? That's right there. They had your belly button looking weird. You're looking like a smart car. Ain't nothing wrong with it, though. You're looking like a Prius. Nothing wrong with it. Fiat 500, bro. Don't worry. On, niggas see my little gut. You feel me? They see. They say it was ingrown hairs. Other niggas trying to say it was It's cool. We all live with this shit. <laughs> see, I be living in my truth. These bitches, they be just trying to, like, make some other reality up. That's a fact. Hold on, Lee Scissor. I mean, Ronnie Spice got two number top 10 songs, by the way. Just letting the world know that. You see, when you get a BBL, you got to get, like, them thighs right here, you got to get that right. That thigh wasn't thighing right there. It wasn't thighing right. That's the problem. And that contraption on your head, you got to get it fixed. You too rich for this, baby girl. Too rich for this. So I understand why you was mad, but I didn't pull this up purposely. I wanted to see the, the looks of you glamorous. I didn't know that's what the BBL did to you. I didn't know. Blame the doctor, not me. The fuck? Matter of fact, we're going to find out who the doctor who did that. I'm going to hold that nigga to the fire because she, 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 she too pussy to call the doctor out who fucked up the BBL. I'm going to call that nigga out. Let's find Scissor's BBL doctor. That's what I want to do. But anyway, after Nikki and, and Ice Spice was pulling their shenanigans, I get everybody smoke. I don't give a Pulling their shenanigans trying to get to first place. Here come lame ass Scissor. Told my, I just want to thank. Yo, Scissor, if you're going to throw shots, pick up a stick too, man. Stop with the subliminal. She was trying to throw shots at Nikki with this one too. Watch this. I just want to thank you guys to every single person rooting for me. Thank you, Doja Cat, for your talent and time. This music shit is weird. This is where she started dissing Nikki. You got to just say, Nikki, you a bitch. That's what you got to do. So we all respect some of y'all beef, man. This music shit is weird and fickle, but y'all always come together for me at the end of the day. It's why I try to give you the best. That won't stop. I love you so much. Stream, kill, bill, remix, and the original. Hey, she was trying to be number one. She seen Nikki was, there was, apparently, like, yo, Ice Spice got some producer who's just giving out cash to fans to buy the song. Yeah, they cheating, but, but I can't be mad at them. Everybody be cheating. Well, not like Drake, but like all them, like 6 9 probably cheated a little bit too before. Nikki always be cheating. Like, shit, Cardi fans be cheating. Like, bro, they be cheating. Like, I ain't mad. Do y'all think? Somebody said I was apologizing. Says, nigga, I ain't apologizing. Nobody, nigga. Fuck all that. I'm adding spice to shit now, nigga. Man, fuck that. Listen, I only really cop. I really gave an apology because I was at Complex and them niggas was shook. That knees was buck. Oh my God, we, we might not get, get, get an interview with TDE after. after Man, fuck all that shit, man. Get that boss BBL on out here. Fuck that. Oh, man. I ain't playing around. All right. Yeah. This is going to be my FPF or FF, FP, FP, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop before that nigga, before she put that picture my ex put on my shit as hers. <laughs> nah, imagine, bro. That's a cover art for Kill Bill Part 2. That would be crazy, huh? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I would say fair play. Nigga, you gonna go viral, bro. She's gonna make that shit number one, bro. She gonna, she gonna get that shit to the Grammy so that bitch could just be a, on a Grammy plaque. Yo, let's be honest. Even in this picture, I think I hit, though. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah. This, uh... The way you show right now, I mean, like... She, bro, she, she looked like, like she looked like Serena Williams on, on, on PDs, nigga. <laughs> like, this shit look crazy, nigga. Man, she she like she got dead. more testosterone than this nigga back here. All right, anyway, let's get off of this. All right, yeah, yeah, guy, yeah, 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 scissor, scissor. I ain't gonna lie to you. I apologize. I ain't even want no beef with you. I really like you, actually. You know what I mean? Forget everything I just said for the last ten minutes. If you don't, I still don't give a fuck. Okay. All right, let me just keep it moving, man. But yeah, so she was tight at Nikki and him. Yo, here's the thing, and this is what I was saying before. I don't think Ice Spice should be performing in the, in the shenanigans. Nikki's supposed to do the shenanigans now. Nikki got the biggest fan base in the world. 
they still trying to claim that everybody hates Nikki. Like, you know, they like think about how pathetic the barbers are. They're claiming that Nikki is blackballed when she's the biggest female artist. Okay, fine. So I get it. Y'all be like, oh, she don't get no radio support. By the way, Nikki don't even run songs. By, you know how radio songs get put on. It's not somebody hears it and said it sounds good. You pay people like a good radio campaign is going to be about quarter million to a, a half a million dollars for like usually maybe a month or two. Um, this is if you want a top BDS spinning song. If Nikki does that through Republic, which she assigned to, she will get radio. Nobody's going to be like, oh, we don't like Nikki. They're, she's going to get radio. You paid to play. That's how it goes. I, like, I've been told y'all this. Radio ain't no, oh, we like her song. You pay to play, bro. That's how it goes. That's how it is. Her, 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 her motherfucking um, label knows, got the money. You think they're going to be like, hey, we're going to spend on everybody else but Nikki? Come on. You think, you think the, the radio stations are taking money for everybody but Nikki? No. So th they could do the same thing. The thing is, Nikki drops a lot of songs even before a rollout, and like you know, what I mean, her label's not pushing them. Like when she, if you drop a song with Six Nine, of course you're gonna get no radio. You know whose song that is? It's Six Nine's song. Six, I think I know all the ins and outs. Six Nine's label went to radio and pushed it as a Nikki song because they know Six Nine wouldn't get radio. He was actually blackball. PDs once they realized Six Nine's on the song, they literally said if there's a, if there's a if there is a um, Nicki Minaj only version, they will playlist it. If six six nine just told all them program directors to suck his dick, <laughs> they just weren't gonna do it. So you know what I mean? Nicki's not blackballed. Okay, Nicki's label is what we call cheap. I like when Nicki be accusing other people like yo payola payola. An artist in the game at a high level accusing other artists of payola is like it's like me looking at them and say, so you don't have a major label behind y'all. Everybody does the same payola tactics. They all buy records. They all distribute money. And yes, remember when 6ix9ine told y'all six credit cards? The labels either buy the records themselves or they distribute money to fans to buy it, it buy it too. Most labels do this, especially when it's a look. Here's the thing. Nikki's an amazing artist. She sold a bunch of records and she has a great fan base. I'm not knocking none of that. Here's the thing. And I'm going to tell you why I Spy shouldn't uh, participate. At this point in Nikki's career, She's already a legend. She's already the best female rapper of all time. So Nikki, she's like she's like LeBron just trying to win scoring titles and pad the career stat sheet that when it's said and done, it looks like her career was better than it was. Or not, let me not say better than it was because her career was amazing. But early on in Nikki's career, number ones were really hard to get. And that's why she didn't get as many number ones. Remember, Drake never got like a number one. Even Hotline Bling didn't go number one. I think that went number two. He got his first number one with One Dance. One Dance came in 2015, 2016. That's when Drake got his first number one as a lead artist. So there was a time, right, where number ones were so hard to get. Now it's so easy to get, especially if you manipulate and you have a stand audience. That's why when Drake drops a, 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 a three pack, they go one, two, and three. Because now you can have all your stands just stream, stream, stream. It's not about buying shit. Radio, even though it matters, could be negligible because they changed the weight of radio. You could go number one. Before, in another year, by the way, Nicki wasn't as popular and Drake wasn't as popular as they are now. But also, you could not overcome radio. Now you can't, right? So what happens now? Nicki's making up for the fact that she didn't have that many number. Remember, Nicki's like second or first number one was with 6 9 right? And also with Doja Cat with the Say So record, now Nikki could go one by just having her fans cheat the game. I don't blame Nikki because Travis Scott had his fans cheat the game. I, I know that there's a lot of other rappers who use their fans to cheat the game. So I'm not mad at Nikki Minaj for doing that. But we have to be honest on what it is. We're not going to act like Nikki's some black sheep. She's a popular rapper that even if she has been seen as a bitch by a few other female rappers, or if that's her reputation in general, because a lot of people don't like recording, doesn't think, trust me, it doesn't mean she is blackballed. There is no executives making these decisions. And by the way, she has called out executives in the past. Most of those executives 
aren't the people like she's not calling out people from streaming services and people who are selling records she's calling out people from tours okay fine i won't get on the fact that she's canceled a few tours that was supposed to be arena tours i'm not gonna get on that i'll, I'll go into what she said with her beef for live nation but when it comes to selling records here's the thing nikki will never sell like a drake because nikki's a woman men don't like to purchase or be listening to riding around the car a song talking about the anaconda you, they, they, a woman would like to suck on. That's not what niggas want to hear, okay? So, unfortunately, women rappers will never sell like male rappers. So, for Nicki to even marginally sell like male rappers, you got to multiply Nicki's sales in reality when you auto-adjust it for she doesn't have access to 50% of the audience. Times it by two to make you feel good. But is she being blackballed? No, she is not. She got the biggest audience. She is fine. Now, with her doing all these things, trying to get number ones and shit like that, got no problem with it. She's trying to make sure, you know, you know how Drake now has like the most top 100 entries and he probably has the most number ones of all time. Yeah, he deserved that, right? Because like, yo, he's been on for a long time and even though he didn't get the first since 2015, he deserves it. Let Nikki get hers that she's deserved. Let her get her finesse off. I'm not mad with her getting her finesse off, Okay. I think, though, I Spice shouldn't do that. I'm going to tell you why I think I Spice shouldn't do that. Because all these records are just stat sheet stuffers, right? This record ain't no fucking hit. Princess Diana, the remix or the original. It's not no goddamn, it's not no motherfucking, um, 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 what do you call it again? Wait, did the YouTube go down? Don't tell me YouTube went down. I got to make sure I'm in my bag. Don't tell me I started spitting the, spitting the reel and niggas... I mean, I started spitting the reel, and then, um, okay, bang, here we go, cool, here we go. It's not now. All right, so, here's the thing, I bet. So, here's the reason why I say I Spice shouldn't do it. So, I got no problem with Nicki doing it. I Spice shouldn't do it because these records, they're not really hits. They are stat sheet stuffers. They make it look like when Chart Data tweets out, Nikki is the female with the most number one David. Like, that sounds good, but she deserves it. She has an established career. For Ice Spice, it doesn't look good because all of your songs are debuting high, then tanking afterwards. This Princess Diana shit won't be on the charts in four weeks. No top five song that is actually a top five hit disappears off the charts in five weeks now that's a Nicki minaj special but Nicki is just trying to stuff the stat sheet she already has a legendary career i am not mad at her i spice do not have a legendary career to date she needs to start building a fan base. She needs to start building fundamentals. And when you have songs that debut high and nobody remembers in two months, bro, it just looked like even more you were a one-hit wonder rather than somebody building a, a, a legitimate fan base. So I think for Ice Spice, don't do it. For Nikki, I got no problem if you don't. She got one hit on there that's that's, that's stable. What song? Um, she's... The number nine, she got a song, Pink Panthers. It's been on the charts for like four weeks, five weeks, top ten. All Probably right. Six well, weeks. Okay. Well. That, nah, she, you right, though. She should focus on those songs. Yeah. Like, See, those yeah, songs like, are good. Stuff or shit. Yeah, those songs yeah. are good. When you, when you focus on these little finesses to get a number one, it, it's you, you put yourself as a one-hit wonder because you don't have an established career. Nikki could have a song that's number one that never seen on the chart again. We're still going to say it's the number one for Nikki because how many songs did Nikki put on the chart? How many great songs did Nikki made? We have like such a huge plethora of information about Nikki's career that we are not going to judge her by one song. But Ice Spice, the person who we're wondering, if you're a one hit wonder, are you a fluke? Is it just because of the time that people are in? Um, Like, what is it? You should probably want songs that are more like the song you have with Pink Panther than um, just gimmick songs, right? True. That shit was just like a WAP, a scuffed WAP. I'm going to keep it a bean. It just wanted to do what WAP did, but it, I don't think it would do that. Of course. Yeah, I don't think it would do that. Of course. All right. All right, people. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Nigga was cooking. Chat, what else we talking about? Y'all got to put me on. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for bringing up that topic. What, what else did I not bring up? Holy. Uh, uh, 
I feel like you are missing some shit. Not missing mad shit. I know I am missing well, mad shit. It, it was, I mean, I don't know if, if you want to talk about it, but it was just one nigga, um, some, some old block nigga that got pressed by some FBG niggas at a, at a uh, basketball court. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, yeah, Interesting, it was, it, but he didn't. He, he didn't run though. He he was ten toes down. And hold on, hold on. So. Let, 